So I've seen a lot of people doing their tier lists and talking about what's good in Overwatch 2 and what's not. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm gonna set this really, really fast. Like, I think support's actually really good, if not, like, a little too strong. The reason why support players are not happy is because they didn't get any shiny new toys. Like, DPS players got a bunch of reworks and a new character. Doom, then tanks got Doomfist tank, they got a rework in the Orisa. They got a bunch of buffs, so, like, they're actually able to play the game again. Support isn't unbalanced. Support isn't unfun. It's just the same thing you've been doing. It's more a FOMO of people missing out that they don't get the fun stuff of the other roles. And I feel for you, but basically I, I think that the support players are overreacting to how bad support is. It's more of just, they don't find it fun because it's the same thing as Overwatch 1. That's it. Let's start this off strong. Ana's an easy, easy A tier. Ana is so strong. Like. Nano is arguably the best support alt in the game right now. I think it actually is the best support alt in the game. I don't think Window is nearly as valuable as it used to be. I don't think Transcendence is that great considering how much it has, to, like it takes to get it. B isn't that great. Valk actually, I'll talk about that in a little bit. I think Valk is actually fucking OP now. The anti nades and sleep darts can be used so much more aggressively now because of the passive. You don't really have to worry about nading yourself half the time. Like, I, I think I'm anti more as a tank versus like Ana nowadays than I ever was in the history of old Overwatch. So, Ana is very, very fucking good. Ash, I don't think Ash is actually that good. Ash, I think, was honestly a big loser in this good but i think cassidy and, and and sojourn are just way better so i think so i think ash was a big loser i think bob is actually pretty decent but i think i think ash is a pretty big loser speaking of pretty big losers i think i would probably put bap i'd probably put bap about here he doesn't have the splash value like with double shield the tanks being grouped up it takes a much longer to get window and window isn't as powerful because you don't have to worry is like you know and, and especially like today and day overwatch what makes bap so good is you have those two giant front lines and they commit to putting their shields up and they commit to holding a sight line window just just blows those out of the water well guess what happens now they're all everyone's like kind of scattered together scattered together you put up window and everyone just goes Shoo! And disappears there's very very few very stand up 5v5 fights at the moment so bap is kind of weak bastion i actually think bastion's pretty good i think bastion's pretty good bastion definitely has a place in shredding certain comps like doomfist comp doomfist comp gets absolutely fucking rolled at least in like the few games i played were like you know you don't have like an all-star doom bash just fucking smokes them because guess what happens doomfist puts up his blocker to, to absorb damage bastion don't even bastion don't give a Bastion don't care. Bastion just goes and just absolutely annihilates him. I'm only two ten percent damage, but if I put out a billion bullets, your ass is fucking dead, Brig. I think Brig oh, also, is. Also, Q and support did not change the Q timer, so. Brig is not doing. Brig is not doing too hot. Brig is. I think she's actually still like not terrible, but uh, I think Brig is in a little bit of trouble. But that's I don't, I'm honestly okay with that. I think that Brig will be good against dive or poke. Cassidy, I think Cassidy's actually pretty good. I think Cassidy's pretty decent. Kind of thinking we'll put him in the A tier, actually. You know what? I'm gonna put Cassidy in the A tier. People slept. People thought his grenade was gonna be terrible in the first couple days. Was like, yeah, make it. He's terrible. The only person who said it was gonna be good was me. Of all the streamers and everybody, I said that his grenade was gonna be good. Everyone was like, yeah, yeah, it's gonna be terrible. Guess what? It was right now, bitch. Doomfist. Doomfist is really good. I think Doomfist is actually a very, 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 very strong tank right now. I think Doomfist honestly could be the best tank right now. If you're really good at Doomfist, it is hard to deal with him. But there is a counter pick, and that's called Orisa. Orisa is a really good counter pick to Doom. So, as good as Doom is, I wouldn't say he's just dominating the game. Diva! I think Diva slept on heavy. I think Diva is slept on really, really, really fucking heavy. I think Diva is an anti. Ball, anti hog, anti Winston tank. It is, it's actually kind of not how much Diva actually can get done. But Diva loses to Ryan pretty, pretty, pretty hard. Echo, I don't think Echo's that great. The hit scans are really, really good right now. So Echo's kind of losing in that department. It could be, could be different now that Mercy's better again, but we'll see. Genji honestly is S tier. Genji is very good. Genji honestly might be one of the best DPS in the game other than Soldier. So here's the thing with Genji. Genji doesn't have the shields to block his uh, his ult charge build. His blade is still really good. There's less CC and the, and the supports don't have as much peel. So if you're a good Genji player, you end up fucking slaying. Like I was playing Genji yesterday, but like I got a 4K yesterday playing Genji with his blade. Or if, actually I got a 5K, I, I, got a, I got the last kill at the end. 
Are we going in? Yeah, I'm ready, I'm ready. Okay, go. Dude! I did a slam thing! Didn't really do anything! Kill Arista, kill Arista, kill Arista! Kill Arista! Nice. Gordon? Oh, he right clicked Oh my god! I'm actually good at Genji! If I can play at a 5k with Genji, that's how you know Genji's fucking lost it. Hanzo, I think Hanzo's pretty decent. Um, I think he's actually not totally as strong as he is in Overwatch 1, uh, but does a pretty good job. The one shot's nice. He still does pretty good damage to tanks, so he's in pick. Junkrat, Junk needs some fucking help. They gotta figure out something about Junkrat. I, dude, I got I got trapped yesterday today on, on Ryan, and I was literally holding shield, I got trapped, and I kept walking. I didn't even notice that I was trapped. I literally got to the end of it, and I go, oh, I was trapped, and just broke out of it. I legitimately didn't even notice. That's how bad it is. Oh, chat. Let me show you some junk crap. It's awful. Okay, he just walked into it. I can't, I can't help you on that one. Do I watch Flats and Weeks bad characters look good, too? Okay, dude, you're not funny. killed him what am i just gonna junk or is this actually like is this just like the biggest luck streak ever come here jimmy doom God, this is so bad. This is. He's a walk in my trap. No, sir, please. Have you even played Junkrat? Say that Junkrat was the worst right now. I, dude, I can't. I'm literally dude, destroying their whole team. Even with the evidence you guys were just given, I'm still gonna keep Junkrat and Junkrat tier. Lucio, Lucio is S tier. Arguably the best support in the game right now. You could play him with any comp. Speed around, speedy boy. Go. You can kill supports. You can enable tanks. You can dual DPS. Beat actually is impactful again because there's not so much damage that Beat just explodes. EMP can still counter it, but like Beat is good. Uh, it's not an, like an F tier or D tier ultimate anymore. It is like a solid B or A tier. It's a good ult. So Lucy overall is just giant W. May, May I think is situational. I think you'll see more May play when like if Rush gets really prevalent and you're trying to isolate the enemy Ryan or the enemy like, you know, whatever it might be, Doomfist or whatever it ends up being. Um, I think you'll see more May, but right now there hasn't been enough strategy building for May to be that good. Mercy, I think Mercy's a solid pick right now. Mercy is actually so dominantly and dominant and kind of oppressive um, right now when you have a good pocketed DPS. Like there's not many things to beat the pocketed DPS. You need either your own pocketed DPS or your tank needs to go f them up. If your tank is not on a character that f them up or to deny their space, you're pretty much screwed. So Mercy is very good. Moira, um, I'm gonna throw Moira in the B tier. Moira was dominant in the alpha, but not anymore. Her, her big thing is like from her survivability, but Ana brings more to the table. I think Moira can still be really good. However, in my own personal opinion, I I enjoy having an Ana way more than having a Moira right now. Orisa, Orisa, I would say Orisa is a solid, solid B. What makes Orisa so good? Cooldowns, that's it. Orisa is good because of her cooldowns. People don't know how to play against her yet. Orisa is literally a waiting game. If you try to engage in Arissa hard and chase her down, you lose. How do you beat Arissa? You play long game, you play slow, you bait out her cooldowns, you outlast her, you survive. Arissa is currently a huge counter to Doomfist, but loses hard against Zarya and Reinhardt. All right, Farah, Farah honestly, I think is pretty, pretty not good. Um. Hit scan is really good in 5v5, but Farah can still take over with the Mercy Pocket. It's a really good Farah, and you don't have good hit scan. So I'll put her in this situational category. Uh, Reaper. Reaper's pretty good. I think Reaper's pretty good. I think Reaper's really good, especially in Rush. Like being able to TP in behind or just running with your team and just frag somebody. I think Reaper's pretty good. There's less CC. Tanks can get chunked by him and put a lot of pressure on your tanks. I think Reaper's pretty good. Reinhardt, 
I actually one of the few people that think Ryan's actually pretty good. Uh, I think there's definitely situations where Ryan sucks with with speed and like with a team that's like working together is really f good. Hog, Hog is kind of like here. I'd say I'd say he's C tier at best. Hog's good if your supports suck. I would would be willing to bet that good Hogs can probably still get stuff done, but I think that Hog is probably one of the biggest losers with the tank changes. Uh, Sigma also I actually think throws in the same category. Flux is not nearly as as powerful. Sigma gets a lot of value in, on live with how his spheres work. You just shoot shield most of the time, you know, and then you shoot tanks. Like you're not really farming as much all charge off tanks. I think Sigma is not a big, not a big big winner. In my opinion. Sojourn, I'd say Sojourn's an easy B tier. Easy B tier. Um where, you know, if you're really, really good with her and you like you got a pocket slash you're getting getting good damage, we'll see some crazy Sojourns. But right now, uh it's such a high high skill hero pick. Um not everyone's that good at her yet. It'll take some time before we see a lot of really good Sojourns. So I say it's a pretty good pick. Sombra. I'm gonna throw Sombra in the S tier category. Uh, I've, I've seen a lot of people that say that she's like A tier kind of thing, but I actually disagree. I don't, I don't, don't totally disagree, but I'm going to make my point here of Sombra being both good in team play and pub stomping, where you can just like sneak up behind people, hack them, and then either come uncloak right away and roll them. Or what I've seen like really good Sombras do is they hack them, run away, wait like three or four seconds for them to drop their guard, come back and just absolutely annihilate them. And they'll have hack on hack back up off cooldown and like four seconds so like they really need to they'll hack them again and get and get the you know what i mean and then get their uh their cool their silence for one second so i think somber's really good sim uh i think sim's kind of situational like the rest but i'd argue that she's a little bit better than like may because the tp is really strong and depending on like what kind of maps sim actually is like pretty decent for like enabling your team to get in quick her tp is all of her strength basically torbjorn I think Torb's is easy B. Torb's also pretty good in 5v5. Uh, his over, his armor, his overload is not nearly as good anymore because he doesn't have armor. But Torb is still kind of like really good with his Torb turret like versus flankers. Although Sombra can hack it now, which is why I think Sombra is like new level of scary. But Torb's ult's really good, especially against tanks. Um, and his shotgun blast is still kind of nuts. So uh, Tracer. Tracer is kind of not that good. It's not terrible, but like there's better flankers, you know, and with her damage nerf, she can't really farm tanks for pulse. And she also like isn't that scary to a lot of supports because their self heal is so good. Even though I put her in the B tier, I think she could fall very easily. But I only keep her in the B tier because I think that people have just been having so much fun with Genji. They haven't been playing as much as Tracer, so Tracer can still be good, but she doesn't have nearly the type of tools that the rest of the crew has. Widowmaker. Widowmaker, I would actually throw here as well in this B category where it's like, I would put it in between the two, but I'm going to put it in the B over C because Widows that can hit some shots are still extremely scary in this format. Winston. Winston is... I've seen where Winston can be okay. I'll put Winston B. So here's the thing. Winston is good on Winston maps, like Gibraltar. Winston's pretty good, right? But he sucks pretty much everywhere else. His right click being cancelable by clicking left click is just a terrible change. Like, it should be like Zenyatta's where you have to melee to cancel it. I think it's just awful. Regardless, though, I think that uh, he definitely has good potential to be really good. Um, just, he's not quite up to par with, like, D.Va. I think, yeah, honestly, D.Va just is better. Ball? I don't think Ball's that good. I think Ball is one of the bigger loser tanks compared to the rest right now. Uh, he doesn't really have anything anything else says. He's just, like, raw health, you know? Like, D.Va has pretty much the same amount of health and can do so many other things. Winston has bubble and better range now with his right click. So, like, he's, like, not really that special, you know? Zarya... Zarya could be really good. But do, is he, she the best tank, though? I think Zarya is really, really good. However, though, in team play, once you bait her bubbles out, she's not that good. Zarya is just like the off-tank version of Rhine, if that makes sense. I'm kind of I'm kind of tempted to put Zarya A tier. I'm, you know, I'm... 
I don't think it was. Is Zarya right above Arissa though? I don't know. I don't know if I want to say that. No. No. I think that's good. I think it's fine. Zenyatta. Zenyatta's just not doing well. Zenyatta's struggling. Uh, Zenyatta needs some help. He just doesn't really fit well in this format, but his, he does so much damage. He's supposed to be a glass cannon, you know what I mean? But I think if there ever is a poke comp that develops, I think Zen will be very fucking good. Same with Brig. Soldier. Soldier's an easy S tier. It's not even close. With less shields and less damage mitigation, his damage over time just ramps up really hard. Soldier's pretty goddamn good. I would say that that's your, that is your uncontested S tier. I'd say that I think that's a pretty solid list uh, of what's like the best shit to run right now. Um, Arissa, Arissa is a tough one because I think Arissa is actually pretty good for most players, but she's really not that good. She's just an iron wall. So maybe that, maybe I'm being too hard on Arissa. No, I'm sticking to my guns. I'm sticking to my guns. Okay, that's my list. I'm not changing it again. There it is. That's my list.